the shirt clashes with my background here. Oh well, we'll survive. Hey everybody, how are you today? Welcome back to Coffee Bricks with Brie. If you are new here, not welcome back, but welcome. This is kind of crazy. This is a crazy idea I had. I like just thought of it literally while driving home. So I got a brand new Keurig for my birthday a couple weeks ago. I've been using just a regular coffee maker for a while now. I've actually had it for a long time and at some point like it literally broke into small pieces and shattered it and then it was really sad. So I needed a new coffee maker. So luckily my boyfriend actually bought me a Keurig machine. So cute, it's a Keurig mini. I'm obsessed, I love it, I love it, I love it. And what is better than getting a new coffee machine and trying out new coffees, right? I know, I know, genius. So my brother also owns a Keurig and he recently went on Amazon and he purchased this new coffee I've never heard of. I love hearing about different types of coffee. I love trying out new coffee, especially when people like suggest coffees to me, just cause they're like, oh, this is really good. You should try it. And like, I've never heard of that. Let's do it. That's a good idea. So my brother was on Amazon and he found a coffee called Crave Coffee. Crave Coffee, Crave Coffee. That's all I do is Crave Coffee. So what better than to try it out? So my brother actually ended up giving me a couple of different flavors from his Crave Coffee box. It literally comes in a box. You can order in a 40 count or a 100 count. So I believe he had got the 40 count, I think. Yeah, he had a lot, but I believe it was only the 40 count. You can get them in a variety package, or if you want to, you can go on and just pick like one single flavor that you like or that you like think you would like to try out. So luckily my brother gave me a couple different types to try out and I was really excited. I tried the cinnamon, I've tried the Vermont maple, and I have tried the French vanilla and the blueberry vanilla. I'm not a huge fan of hazelnut, of butter toffee, certain flavors like that, but today we're going to try them. Oh, I'm gonna like put them all together and we're gonna try all of them together in this video. I decided to go online and actually purchase the variety pack myself. So after going through some of the flavors in the variety pack, mainly the same ones that he had given me, I went online again and bought myself just a whole 40 count of the cinnamon flavor. I've always been a huge fan of brewing cinnamon, ground cinnamon, with my coffee. So being able to have a Keurig and have a K-cup that literally already has coffee and cinnamon in it is incredible and I absolutely love it, especially in the mornings. I just feel like it's so warm and like soothing. So I love having that cinnamon in my coffee. So today we are going to try out together all of these flavors. I'm gonna set them up in a, in a row. Boom, 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 all different cups. I'm probably gonna have to use all the mugs that I have right now. Today we're gonna be trying out all those flavors. I'm gonna line them up and I'm gonna take them one by one and drink them so you'll be able to see and hear about how I feel about them. I am only going to drink them as a black coffee. I am not going to put any almond milk or any coffee cream or anything in there just because I am trying all of these flavors and there's what like one, two, three. So there's that many flavors and I don't want to just like use all my coffee creamer and all my almond milk for coffees I'm just trying because let's be real, I'm probably just gonna drink the entire cinnamon one. I do apologize because I realized like while I was showing those that the lights I have for my videos, it's kind of like hard to see the actual like label of the K-cup, right? Yeah, it's kind of shiny, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So let's get it going, let's go start up that Keurig machine and I will be back with, boom, all my coffee laid out for you to see and listen to me try out. Especially cause some of the flavors aren't my favorite, so you know. Butter toffee, I don't think I've like literally ever had butter toffee in my whole life. Boo. As you can see, I literally only have, let me do it this way, three cups of coffee right now in front of me. I'm trying to brew another one, except really funny. 
apparently there was a water main break down the street from me. So right now I literally can only review these three and I have like one coming out of the Keurig right now. How frustrating. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. The first coffee I want to talk about is actually the cinnamon one. I literally filled this all the way to the brim. This was before I like even knew there was a water main break down the street and that they were working on it and I'm not going to have water until like seven o'clock tonight. So here is the cinnamon crave coffee I am going to be drinking and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I think. This, I like don't know any other way to describe this coffee other than incredible. Even without having anything in this coffee and just drinking it straight from the Keurig, it is incredible. It has a very light cinnamon taste. It's very soothing. It's very comforting. It's definitely something I would like highly suggest in the morning if you like cinnamon or something maybe when you come inside like after you've been shoveling snow. This is a great warm cup of coffee that literally just makes me feel wonderful. Like I just feel good drinking this, this crave cinnamon coffee. It's, I crave more. It's so good. And the next coffee we're gonna try is the hazelnut. I've had some hazelnut flavored coffees in the past. I've definitely had like hazelnut flavored things. It's not my favorite flavor, but the one thing I have to say is that it does smell pretty good. It does. Maybe I was wrong. It's actually pretty good. Okay, hold up. Someone hold the phone. So other hazelnut flavored coffees I've tried, I disliked. They were not my favorite. But the Crave brand of this coffee is actually pretty good. The hazelnut one is actually pretty good. Wow. I'm amazed. I didn't even think I was gonna like this one and I do. Do y'all know what this means? This is craziness. Wow. And to think I didn't like hazelnut. <laughs> Turns out I do. <laughs> the blueberry vanilla. Ooh, I have to say in this one, I definitely do taste just more of they, of they I do taste just more of like the blueberry. I think the vanilla flavoring is maybe lighter and it kind of gets lost within all that blueberry flavoring, but I definitely taste the blueberry. So if you were a fan of blueberry coffee, you will absolutely love this. Don't let the vanilla name in there freak you out because it does taste more like blueberry and really nothing like vanilla. Another thing I have to say too is like brewing these coffees, like even all together, I've really realized that the smell that comes from them, like, like this just smells incredible. Like it's literally just smells like blueberries. Like, wow. And I do love blueberries. Blueberry coffee, I've always like gone back and forth for it. Like I feel like I definitely have to be like in the mood for blueberry. But this coffee is really good and it does smell incredible. All right, the next coffee I'm gonna be trying is butter toffee. Now, it smells like butter. I mean, like it smells good and it does have like that toffee, obviously smell in there too, cause it's butter toffee. But I don't know. Something about like butter and like toffee type stuff, like honestly to me is a little nauseating. So I don't know how I feel about this, but let's like just dive in and do it. Hmm. I almost feel like this is the same result as like the hazelnut coffee. Like there's something about it. I really think it's the smell that gets me. Honestly, like to be completely honest with you, I think that's what it is. I am like a fan favorite of all of these. How does this even happen? I didn't think I was gonna even like them. Like I didn't even try them yet because I didn't think I was gonna like them. I'm shook. I'm shooketh. 
All right, the next one I'm gonna be trying is the Vermont Maple. I am a huge like fan of maple. I love maple syrup. I love it on my pancakes. We love it. I have had maple coffee in the past of like a different brand, but I've never tried this one. Okay, it's pretty good. What I have to say is especially like the like the smell is super maple. It's not sweetened, so that's one thing I have to say is that like when you, you sip it, it's not like a sweet maple. Like don't think of maple syrup. It does have that maple scent. It does taste like maple. And it is a pretty strong maple, but it's good. Like it is a good maple. Like you, if you like anything maple, like maple candies, me, yeah, you'll probably like it. The caramel flavored coffee. I have had this one. It smells incredible, just like, oh, it's amazing. It's so good. Like the scent is just wonderful. It like makes you feel happy and tingly inside, but you know. So what I have to say about this one is, it almost kind of reminds me of like, not the butter toffee, but a little bit in a way, and like a mix between like the maple. And I feel like that sounds kind of crazy, but like, honestly it does. It kind of tastes like a mixture of both. It is really good. I've never had a caramel coffee before other than maybe like a caramel Lou from Mary Lou's or like some type of coffee that has like a caramel drizzle on it, but I've never actually had something brewed as caramel coffee. This is surprisingly really good and it's really delicious. Wow, we out here with good coffee. Our final coffee is just the plain French vanilla coffee, which is actually one of my absolute favorites. With the Crave coffee, I do really like it, but I definitely love the cinnamon one. I have to say with all of these, like the scent, like the smell is just incredible. Like, I don't think I've ever had a coffee that was brewed and smelled this amazing unless I was like in Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. Like, other than that, I don't think I've ever discovered a coffee that smells this good. All these Crave coffees as well definitely have like a strong flavor. It tastes good. It's refreshing. It's not overpowering. It's not sour. I feel like all of them have a really good blend and they all are just like smooth and whole and everything that's good in life. Thank you for joining me in reviewing these different flavors of Crave Coffee. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button. Join my YouTube family, come back for more coffee reviews, more things about makeup, more things about cars, more things about my cat and who just jumped down from the window. And just more of absolutely everything that is crazy in my life. And I feel like I just talk about everything under the sun. So here we are. Thanks for trying out these uh, Crave coffees with me. If you are interested, I highly suggest you go ahead on Amazon. I will actually put that link down below in the description. So if you're interested, go ahead down and order some for yourself. If you think you were interested in getting a variety pack, go for it. But if one of these flavors definitely caught your eye and you think you just want that one flavor, they do give you the option to go on and just buy that one as well. So go ahead, check those out. Thank you for joining and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go finish my cinnamon crave coffee because this one just, wow. Okay.